Chanel is having another price increase. I know it is crazy. I am so happy that I got my bags last year before all the crazy hikes that have happened over the past year. We're going to be discussing what bags are increasing, how much they're increasing by supposedly because everything's not going to be public yet. Um, but also some of my thoughts on whether or not I will continue to buy from the brand. So word on the street is that Chanel is going to be having another price increase and it's going to be effective as of either November 1st or November 3rd, just kind of depending on where you are located. Uh, the price increase is going to be affecting a number of different things from the house. This is going to include um, shoes. It's going to include um, costume jewelry. I don't buy Chanel costume jewelry, do you? Um, it has a horrible resale value. It is going to be affecting the classic flaps. Yes, more increases on the classic flaps, like we already haven't had enough price increases on the classic flaps. Um, it's also going to be affecting SLGs as well. Um, you guys also might have heard in regards to Chanel implementing some of the rules that we are seeing from some of the other houses like Hermes. I don't know if Chanel really warrants um, implementing all of these rules. Do I think that the quality has really taken the same trajectory as the price? I don't know. Um, but I know that there are people that are out there that are going to continue to buy Chanel and are continue will continue to lust over the brand. Um, now, in regards to the price of the classic flaps, let's take a look at the prices of the classic flaps and what they are going to be after the price increase. All of this is speculated. Of course, we won't know the prices until they are released in the store. And honestly, I may be looking at purchasing a bag prior to that price increase just to be able to get my hands on some of the things that maybe I would think twice about. Um, after the price increase. So let's just go ahead and talk about some of these prices. So currently, and I'm going to talk in USD right now, the current price of the Chanel Classics Flap Small is going from 7100 and it's going up to 82. That's a 15.5% price increase on this bag in one price increase. And we already know that there's been numerous price increases. We knew that a price increase was going to come in October or November. Chanel does a price increase in October or November all the time, but we did not expect it to hit the classic flaps because we have already seen so many increases on these bags. Now, the medium classic flap is going to be going from 7,800 and it's going to go up to 88. That's a 12.8% increase on the medium classic flap. Now, mind you, the reissues are also going to be priced very similarly in comparison to the classic flaps. Uh, the jumbo classic flap is going from 85 to 95. So that's 11.8% increase. And then the maxi is going to go from 92 to $10,000 USD. Chanel has officially hit the $10,000 mark. Now, does Chanel really care whether or not we decide that we want to continue to purchase bags from them or not? They do not care, you guys. Whether or not you choose to continue to purchase, Chanel does not care. They do not want your money. They want to have a specific clientele. And I've already been seeing this in regards to how I was able to get my bags and the process that I had to go through to get my bags. They want influential people. They want people that have disposable income. They want people that are going to buy ready to wear. They want people that are not only going to be chasing down classic flaps, but are going to be buying multiple different things from different um, categories. This sounds very much like our good friends over at Hermes, right? Now, does that mean that those people that maybe have been purchasing Chanel, but haven't really gotten to that Hermes level are going to kind of jump ship. I think so. You know, if I'm going to have to buy ready to wear and buy 
all of these different categories, then I'm definitely going to be going over to Hermes, especially when some of these classic bags that I want to be able to have the opportunity to purchase are gonna be one, limited by the house. We know that this is coming to Korea. They're only, only allowing you to buy two SLGs of the same style um, per calendar year. They're only gonna allow you to buy one classic flap per year. There's all of these kind of quota things that are going on. They're gonna want you to buy ready, ready to wear before you're allowed to buy certain bags. We've already been seeing them limit the number of classic flaps in the store, which is, they're just kind of doing the same thing as Hermes has been doing. Because of this, it means that I am going to be able to focus more of my spending and my energy on things like Hermes. Um, personally, I already have my classic flap. I, so I have a small classic flap um, with silver hardware and in caviar leather. Now, the bag that I would consider purchasing right now would be either a small classic flap um, with gold hardware or alternatively a, a rectangular mini um, with gold hardware and in, of course, the lambskin. Now, the minis are also going to be affected by the price increase also. So I quickly just want to run through a couple of the prices that we're going to be seeing in 22C, which is the next collection that's coming out, um, just so that we can kind of be more informed and figure out what bags we want to purchase going forward. So there is the Small Trendy CC, and uh, Small Trendy CC has actually been a bag that was on my wish list. I like the accordion style of this bag. The only thing that drew me away from this bag initially was the price difference between the Trendy CC and the Chanel Classic Flap. With the Chanel Classic Flap, of course, having a better resale value, and then also the wear and tear on the Trendy CCs that I have seen in regards to the corners because it doesn't have feet on it and it's a little bit of a softer leather, um, I decided that I was going to go with a Classic Flap. Now, the Trendy CC in this collection is supposed to be coming out with rose gold hardware, which I'm interested to seeing. I'm interested in seeing. Now, rose gold hardware is not my style. I would either want gold hardware or silver hardware. Of course, I would prefer silver hardware on my bags, but the Trendy CC is gonna be at 6,100 USD um, and is subject to a price increase. So we already know that the Trendy CC is a seasonal bag. It's not carried every single season. So this is a great opportunity for you to purchase a Trendy CC before further price increases um, potentially affect this bag. Now, of course, um, SLGs, which include wallets on chains, are also going to be affected in um, this price increase. The Trendy CC wallet on train, again, a, tr um, a seasonal bag, is going to be 3500 and or 3550 USD coming this season. The DeVille bowling bag is rumored to be 3300 so this being not a leather bag, comes in at a much better price point, but still, you already know, it's Chanel, so come on. The DeVille tote in the small size is going to be 3300 The rectangular mini, which is one of the bags that I have interest in purchasing, is going to be 4400 USD. A small Chanel Classic 19, which is, or I shouldn't say classic, a small Chanel 19 in lambskin leather is gonna be tw uh, 57, which is another bag that I have had some interest in, but I don't specifically like this bag in the lambskin leather. I actually really like this bag in the tweeds. Um, I There was a black and white tweed that was gorgeous and I had an opportunity to purchase and maybe I should have purchased it at the time, but I ended up, I don't know, what did I get into? I don't know. Maybe I didn't get anything, but I was just in our local store and I saw it. The Chanel 19 Wallet on Chain, which is another bag that I would potentially consider as well, is going to be 3,600 USD. So what does this mean for Chanel lovers? The classic flaps are going to be even harder, even more sought after. So if you have a Chanel classic flap, hold on to that bag nice and close to you. Now, I do feel as though 
mini bags from Chanel are going to be harder to get. People are going to be able to purchase mini bags. If you were saving up your money for a Chanel classic flap, now a mini is going to look even more appealing to you. So I think minis are going to be a lot harder to get. I think that Coco handles, again, a very sought after bag um, in terms of a Chanel bag. Again, very hard to get your hands on right now um, are going to be more sought after as well. In addition to the Chanel classic with a top handle. Again, another very hard bag to get your hands on to, but are going to be even more sought after after these price increases. For me personally, there are some gorgeous pieces from Chanel ready to wear, some jumpers, um, some jackets that I definitely would be interested in. I do feel as though Chanel shoes are not extremely expensive in terms of what you're getting and I do have a couple of pair of Chanel shoes and I do have a pair, a pair of Chanel runners on my wish list. I'm just waiting for a color of Chanel runners to come out that just kind of screams at me and says, hey, this is so you, this is what you need in your life. Um, so I'm okay with the price increases on um, accessories or shoes I should say and I don't know if the price increases are going to hit Chanel ready to wear and Chanel ready to wear is not something that I specifically have purchased in the past, although it is something that I would definitely be interested in seeing and exploring, especially some of the jumpers. Now, in terms of seasonal bags, I think that these are going to be things that I will continue to look at um, if I can get my hands on them, if my spending allows me to be even invited to purchase some of these bags. Now, I would still like to, despite the pricing increase and I may be able to get my hands on one before the price increase look at purchasing a uh, classic Chanel with gold hardware because the only one um, that I have that have gold hardware are uh, Coco top handle of course I'll link the video above for my Coco handle um, or my Coco top handle review as well as my mini review I also have a video coming up on my small Chanel. I've actually had it for a while. I just haven't posted the video yet because I felt like all of my videos were on Chanel because I was doing, I was going on like a little Chanel craze. And then of course I have my shoe videos. Oh my gosh, I have so much Chanel that I purchased in the last year, you guys. My small Chanel is definitely going to be staying within my collection. It is not something that is going to be going anytime soon for me and I will be looking at potentially adding a black with gold hardware Chanel either in a rectangular mini size or alternatively in a small size just depending on what's available in the store or if I can even get my hands on it. Now like I was saying earlier in the video I'm going to be steering a little bit more of my spending towards Hermes. There are a number of items from the house that I have been interested in but knowing that Chanel kept on increasing and increasing the prices, um, I opted to focus my energy on Chanel last year, which I was very successful at. In one of my upcoming videos, I am going to be comparing my small Chanel to my mini Chanel. And it's so funny, my small one is actually right here. But I think that my opinion in terms of small versus mini is going to remain the same. I think after you have a small um, classic flap, um, steering towards the minis is a great option because they come in at a much better price point. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Every week I'm going to be discussing with you some things that are going on in the fashion industry. You know, I follow this news and I want to be able to share it with you guys. So make sure in the comment section below, you let me know what you think of the Chanel price increase. Are you going to continue to purchase Chanel or are you going to be focusing your energy on other brands at this point in time? And if you are going to be focusing your energy on other brands, what brands are they going to be? If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Until next time, see ya!